Hi, my name is Martina. Hi, my name is Tamir Grinovis. My name is Chase Engel. Hi, my name is Heather. Hello, my name is Philip Lalic. I'm Patty Buck. My name is Ford Welsh. Hi, my name is Katie Brick. Hello, my name is Ian Doctor. Hi, my name is Benjamin Sherry. Hi, I'm Blake Orlay. Hey, my name is Rob Foreman. And I experienced lower back pain. I hurt my back. Pain in the low back. I experienced some low back pain. I occasionally experienced lower back pain. Experienced lower back pain. Lower back pain. Back pain. It's low back pain. Lower back. Low back. Back pain in my lower back when rowing. A recent study interviewed 25 rowers who, like those you just heard from, experienced low back pain caused by rowing. Researchers found that rowers tend to conceal their pain and coaches tend to contribute to that concealment. I think that there is this stigma around pain or kind of this notion in athletics and including rowing that pain needs to be like you need to buckle down and just kind of grit through it. The athletes don't want to tell the coaches. A lot of athletes feel like they'll disappoint their coach if they bring up their back pain so they kind of just keep it to themselves. I did not tell my coach at that time. I didn't feel the need to discuss this with my coach. I didn't tell my coach about my lower back pain in high school. I would have told my coach. Pushed through the pain. Kept it to myself. Because I was afraid of losing my seat for a big upcoming race. Because I didn't want to lose my seat in the boat. Because I was worried of losing my spots in the higher boats. As I wasn't where I wanted to be within the squad. Because it wasn't really severe and didn't seem to limit my activity rowing. I just thought it was extreme muscle soreness. The good news is that researchers also found that some rowers feel like they can share their pain. My rowing experience was so much more positive because I shared my experience about lower back pain with My coaches were encouraging enough and created a safe space um, that let me share my pain early on. I shared the pain with my coach because I had just finished my sophomore year of college and I really wanted to continue rowing and racing for the next two years. It wasn't until later during that time I had coaches I could go to when I did experience pain. If it had become a bigger issue, I would have felt comfortable sharing with my coach because he makes sure that all the athletes know um, that he prioritizes their health. And our coach is really open and wants us to tell him if we're hurting. Sharing pain early is important because early treatment typically leads to better outcomes. Especially in younger rowers when they're still growing, enforcing the idea that sharing when a pain is experienced early on will help prevent having to take longer breaks from training to recover from injuries, and it will give valuable feedback to coaches on their training and coaching methods. Not all pain needs to just be pushed through or like just grit can't fix every problem like lower back pain. Pushing through it isn't going to solve or make it better. It could probably will just get worse and create bigger problems further down the line. If I had that, had the perspective at that time that I was choosing between one race and being able to row for the rest of my life, then I wouldn't have chosen to participate in that one race. I would have instead tried to fix my injury first. In the early stage, it's easier to fix something. Now that I have fully recovered from that injury, I feel a lot stronger and a lot more secure in my ability to row and also my knowledge about my body. With a few changes, we can encourage sharing so rowers can stay healthy for longer and recover from injuries faster. What can coaches do to encourage sharing? Coaches and teammates alike can help kind of fix that problem by just creating a culture creation of safe space and encouragement. Uh, they just need to create an environment where they talk about it. Coaches should check in with their athletes. And just like approaching them and saying, hey, whatever injury you're experiencing, um, whether it's in the past, present or future, I'm gonna always be there for you and kind of just letting them know that they won't be met with a disbelief or like suspicion or a incredible disappointment when they bring up their pain or their issues um, so that they feel like they'll be trusted and like help through the problem as opposed to kind of being um, ridiculed or suggested that they're weak, et cetera, et cetera. No rower chooses to become injured. Let them know that injuries happen and it's not, and it's not always your fault and it doesn't mean that you're weak. <laughs> By letting them know that it's not their fault, it shouldn't be used against anybody. It's not a sign of weakness. They are afraid of that they will be perceived as weak or not good enough. Just let them know that you're going, that you're supportive for them. Like you're going to be there for them. Like you're not going to be a little them. Learn body language. We already know that rowers will have a tendency to hide their pain. So we need to be good at catching them in their lies and giving them opportunities 
to tell us the truth. It's just education, letting kids know that not all forms of pain are good for them or good for the team. I wish I had known the difference between injury pain and soreness. Coaches should educate their rowers and their team about the differences between muscle soreness and fatigue and pain that could be potentially an injury or developing injury. I think the difficult thing is that rowers love pushing into the pain threshold, but you need to be careful um, what to look out for because I just, you know, if you're doing an erg anyway, you're going to be in pain, but it's the types of pain that continue after erging and are there and just get worse and worse and worse. Yeah, if you have if you're a little sore a couple days here and there and that's that's fine. My advice is if you have night pain, if you can't get to sleep and uh, if it lasts for more than three or four days, five days is not getting any better or certainly if you have any numbness tingling and hopefully you go to a school or you have a program where you have an athletic trainer that you can talk to who can treat you and then that person helps to drive that treatment and can talk to the coach. What can rowers learn from pain? So the question what rowers can learn from pain is very interesting because the sport is all about pain, especially like mental toughness. And athletes have to believe in their body that it is uh, robust and adaptable. But we have to really think about that sensation is information, like what we're feeling at the time is giving us feedback, like our body is literally giving us feedback. To keep in touch with their body and how it's handling the training load. And when they need to take a break. What we can learn from that discomfort or early signs of pain is that we may need to adjust our technique. Any weaknesses in core, posture, mobility, or even their recovery, that can be improved upon. Okay, I need to do more stretching, or maybe I need to spend some time on the roller. The pain can teach you better technique, because when it hurts, it means that you're probably doing something wrong. And you can then ask your coach, I'm doing something wrong, can you like let me know what I can do better? And then you do it better, and your pain goes away. So that's really nice. <laughs> And I think it's very important to like rely on that sensation and that information your body is sending you and kind of decide like, hey, this pain is not normal. Like maybe I should really like shift my technique. Maybe I should really seek medical attention. I don't think I would acknowledge those things without experiencing um, pain. And we may also need to consider changes in rigging or, or length. Um, training load, of course, as well, and making sure you're taking appropriate rest days. Uh, unfortunately, but I, I, I'm I'm a bit stubborn, so <laughs> I guess I needed some pain to push me in healthier lifestyle. Um... Injured rowers often report feeling isolated and anxious. So much of my confidence and self worth was wrapped up in my identity as a rower and my ability to row. It could be a pretty lonely experience. Feelings of isolation and anxiety may negatively impact pain and the rehabilitation process. The mental struggle of injury is compounded by feeling ostracized by the team. How can teammates support injured rowers? Teammates can help injured rowers on their team in making sure that they're still considered part of the team, even if their training has to be adjusted to accommodate for an injury or an illness. And as far as staying connected to the team, uh, that's one thing I really work with with the athletes. If they can go to practice at the same time, do their land workout at the same time as the team, uh, whether it's a bike or core exercises or whatever rehab I've given the athlete so they can try to keep working out with the team. Um, um, but it was important to train at the same time as everybody so that you could be still fully included. Teammates can help support the athlete by still having meals with them, going to eat together, staying involved with communication with the athletes with a text thread, can help the athlete all feel really connected to the team because it's it can be really difficult to be away from the group. So The team atmosphere is a very powerful motivator for many athletes who, sh who would struggle with their training if they didn't have it. Continuing to stay in the loop about communication, to get to come to regattas, all of that is really helpful for an injured rower to feel like they still have a place where they belong. But also you have to think about mentally and what they're going through. Um, so I believe it's always important just to be there and be a safety net and kind of just like help them out with like whatever they need. Tell them everything they need to hear. 
You're not weak. You're not lazy. You're not letting us down. Put in the effort that you put in on the water and come back stronger so we can be faster as a team. I'm here for you. Or just simply asking, hey, how are you? Are you doing better? How you feel? Um, I think that this inclusion is helpful enough and gives a lot of support because being injured or being in pain in sport isn't easy because we all want to be fast, to do our best. And when we can't and it's and we can't control it, it's hard. I think it's important to support other rowers if they have to sit out or encourage them to take it easy if they mention any early signs of um, discomfort. Teammates should encourage other teammates to seek help if they experience lower back pain or even consider telling the coach uh, themselves because of how serious the pain can be. Um, and I think it's good to make sure that you check in with them if they've been off the water for an extended period of time. So being included and supported and hear that it's okay, you, you will get there. It's, it's huge. We shouldn't fear pain. If we can view pain as a signal or an opportunity, we have the potential to reduce injury rates, speed up the rehabilitation process, improve rowing performance, and athlete retention. And it's okay. It's really okay to experience pain. Just please share it.